Hi, and thank you for joining me for tonight's book talk on Lifeboat 12, which is based on a true story by Susan Hood. As we begin our book, we find out in doing some more research that Susan Hood, the author, got this idea for the book after she discovered this truth of shipping children away during World War II. In the childhood letters of her British mother-in-law, her mother-in-law made it to Canada, but she wrote home about a boat that got torpedoed and sank within 30 minutes. 46 people survived, including six boys aged age 9 to 13. As she did more research, she was excited to find one of the boys from the USS City of Benares, Kent Sparks, was still alive. She traveled to Britain to interview him. His story inspired her to draft this book. Unfortunately, Ken died two months after their interview, so he was not able to see the finished product. Lifeboat 12 is... Written, I believe, to convey that even in the most horrible conditions, one must have hope, and that helping each other is what makes life worth living. The main character, Ken, finds that his mom, his stepmom, and dad are getting rid of him when he opens a letter. Envelope! I shouldn't do it. I know I shouldn't. I'll be in trouble if I open this large envelope addressed to my parents, but it's stamped on His Majesty's service. It's not every day a family like mine gets a letter from the king. The clock tick, tick, ticks. I glance down the hall to make sure I'm alone. I slide my finger under the flap and peer inside. Dear sir or madam, I am directed by the Children's Overseas Reception Scheme. It's nothing, a dull form letter. But wait, someone has written my name. Your preliminary application has been considered by the board, and they have decided that Kenneth J. Sparks is suitable for being sent to Canada. What are you doing? cries my stepmom, seizing the letter from my hands. That is not addressed to you. Charles, Charles, this cheeky son of yours wants a good clout about the ears. That letter is about me, I say. You're sending me away. I glare up at my father who appears in the doorway. My stepmom got her wish to get rid of me. Ken, let me explain. This letter could save your life. The reasons why they sit me down. I shrug their hands off my shoulders and stare at the floor, heart slamming, heat rising. They talk and talk, voices swirling in the air, rising and falling, overlapping, interrupting, weaving a net, a trap, but I'm not going to fall for it. I try to block them out. I concentrate on slowing the storm in my head, but they're sending me away. But hang on, what's this about the Germans? The Germans are coming, says that. France surrendered this summer, and the Nazis are gunning for England next. Hundreds of thousands of parents applied to have kids sent out of harm's way. You're lucky you have been selected, says mom. I have a sister in Edmonton, Canada. You can live with her. With your father out of work, money is tight. We can rent out your room to help pay for rations. Just think, sailing on a ship, says dad. It will be an adventure. This book is easy to read with lots of dialogue that has a poetic quality. For me, this was a Titanic type of adventure without romance and with plenty of humor, despite the turmoil. After leaving on Friday the 13th, hey, does anyone remember this isn't a good date to embark on a journey? Five days and over 600 miles out, the ocean liner SS City of Menars that the teens deemed as a palace is bombed. Ken! Bam! I jolt awake, jumping in the dark. The floors shudder. The night split. 
with sounds of splintering wood, creaking metal, clattering glass, then nothing. As the boat is being evacuated, two more explosions flash in the night, the light exposing a horror show. People clinging to overturned lifeboats, swimming to overloaded rafts, grabbing at floating deck chairs with flailing arms and beseeching hands, the boat eventually sinks. At first, Kent thought, this is the best ride ever, better than any carnival. But he soon realizes that he is in grave danger. Will he survive? Both prayers and stories may help him. They only have one day of rations left. Will they make it? Please read the story Lifeboat 12 based on a true story by Susan Hood.